slow. Maybe. Oh, wrong with sir. There we go. Hi. Great. Um, welcome to History Chats. Oh, I should uh, mute myself. You can't hear the echo, but I can. There we go. Um, welcome to History Chats this afternoon. Um, we're going to get started in a couple minutes. As, as always, if you're joining us live, um, thanks for joining us. We'll, we'll get to it at 1230 uh, or maybe a little bit later because I guess there's a little bit of a delay. Uh, but if you're watching this after the fact, you don't need to stick around for the next four minutes if you don't want to. So just kind of skip ahead uh, if you're watching the recording. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, we'll, we'll be getting started in just a couple minutes. Uh, thanks for joining us. Um, so today we are going to be talking about uh, kind of continuing our City of Wassa story and um, kind of recognition of the uh, 150th anniversary of the City of Wassa. It's the city charter. Um, and I know Gary's probably going to get into that in a little bit, but um, yeah, so that's kind of what we're doing this month. Um, let's see, I think I updated this. Yeah. So, uh, for example, next week we are going to be talking about some of the ways that Wassa has represented, been represented in logos and emblems and, and seals and things like that, um, which has kind of a longer history than you might expect, um, and also not as long as you might expect. Um, Kind of interesting story there. So looking forward to, to sharing that with you next week. Um, yeah, at 12.30 on Thursday. Um, I guess I can also um, kind of announce here. Uh, so this was going to be the first or the next History Speaks first of the year. Um, and unfortunately, we're going to have to postpone this uh, or possibly cancel. We're, we're still kind of figuring that out. Um, but unfortunately, the, the, the staff from the Wisconsin Valley Improvement Company um, had some things come up and, and they were, you know, decided that they would rather not um, do it unprepared. And so, you know, that's fair enough. Um, so unfortunately, we will we'll see what we, maybe we'll do something in its place, you know, as a sort of a live thing. We're not we're not sure yet. But um, unfortunately, this probably won't um, be happening. Um, but there's lots of uh, great uh, history chats and history speaks coming up the rest of the year to look forward to. Um, yeah. Oh, there we go. Um, cool. That's working. Um, I guess I can also say um, thanks to oops, there we go. thanks to our sponsor, uh, Yankee Bookstore, um, as well as all of our uh, members of the Historical Society for making it possible for us to do these. Um, yeah, much appreciated. And uh, if you're not already a member of the Historical Society, it's a great way to support uh, local history and um, you know get some benefits and some um, some cool stuff. So uh, if you if you're not already a member and you're you're interested, feel free to give us a call or see our website marathoncountyhistory.org, um, or just come on by the museum, and we can uh, help you out with that. Um, so yeah, thanks for all of that. I think I think we'll get maybe just get jump right in here. Um, yeah. So this is Gary Gisselman. He's gonna tell us about the city halls of Wassa. So Take thank you, Ben. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, welcome. So uh, this year, 2022, marks the 150th anniversary of the city of Wassa becoming a city. So uh, a variety of things are happening this year. And a good part of that is happening through this history chat. So uh, there are many stories to tell in this 150 years that we're going to be presenting. We're not sure that we can get the entire story out uh, this year, but we're going to we're going to certainly try. One of the stories that I think are is intriguing is the uh, and that I'm going to speak a little bit about today is Wasa City Halls that center that place where all of Wausau's government has taken place. Fire departments, decisions on fire departments, police departments, a variety of other governmental functions all have been decided in the, in the confines of Wausau City Hall. And the administration of the, of the city through all these years has also been there. So we're going to take out try to, in a little bit of time this, this afternoon, try to see what we can decipher with regard to that history and highlight a little bit of, of that history this afternoon. We, uh, in 15 minutes, we'll 
see what we can do. But it's a large story. 150 years is a large story. So, um, so we'll start uh, what Wasta was looking like back in the 1870s, uh, pretty much on the east side of the city, a little bit development on the on the west side, but uh, the city was starting to grow, and it was certainly started to grow after the 18 uh, 1880s when the rail. This is a a map a little bit after 1872 showing the rails coming in. The rails weren't the railroads weren't quite in yet, but this sort of tells you where the center of the population was in the city of Wassa. This is a 1879 bird's eye view of the city, and you can sort of seeing the same type of of uh, demographics with regard to the population where they were on the east side, a little bit on the west side, but that gives you a little bit of a sense of of what Wasa was like transitioning from uh, a village into, into a city. And in 1872, the village hall becomes the city hall. So uh, in one quick year, this little village hall uh, became our city hall where, where the functions of the city were being um, taken, were taken pla took place. So, uh, this is uh, a little, the firehouse as well as city hall on the 400 block. We'll talk about that in a, in a minute or so, but it gives you a little bit of a view of what life was like in the 1870s. Straight ahead on your right is St. John's Ep Episcopal Church, the church tower there. And then on your far left, it's a little bit of a picture of the Marathon County Courthouse as it was on, on the uh, 400 block in the city. Uh, so in 1872, the first mayor was August Kickbush, a uh, distinguished person in this in our history, coming from Germany, uh, great, great sense of uh, leadership within, within the German community, uh, uh, a great leader in this city uh, for many, many years, not only as a mayor of Wausau, but uh, and other, some of his other social and political and economic functions within the city, August Kickbush. Again, I just come here because I want to focus in on where that little building was, uh, our village hall, our first city hall, see the courthouse there on the 400 block, and then that where that number two is, that where, where that's where that little village, village hall was. So that was there to begin with in 1872, that marks the beginning of the city of Wassa. So in 1885, things started to change. From 1885 to 1912, the uh, city hall was established on Washington Street, uh, on West Washington Street, uh, a little bit west of the intersection of what was then called North Main Street, of course now it's First Street, Washington Street, Basically, now it's across Washington Street from the public library. That was our first established city hall. There it is. It's a wonderful, wonderful building. Just think of the architectural features that that brought, uh, that, that brought to the city of Wassa. Uh, it was here um, for many years. John Wingle was one of the uh, mayors through this time. He was very influential in a variety of different functions of the city in addition to his business as the Ringo Brick place. Uh, and he had different terms in the city, but he was one of the mayor, outstanding mayors that really had the mayorship for many different terms uh, throughout these years. But it was Gustav Mueller in 1890 that we just want to talk about a little bit because the functions of government at this time was, well, we had to take care of the city. So streets uh, and a variety of other functions of the city started to take place. So it was uh, in 1890 that Mr. Mueller and the rest of the city est established the waterworks system in the city. It was installed and expanded and the sewer system also designed and installed. So again, we're starting to take over the, the city functions uh, as we continued on, Mr. Miller was being one of that. This is the 
the early Wassa waterworks along the river. Um, uh, a lot on the northeast side of the city, city of Wassa, our first waterworks and Mr. Mueller. Also at this time that a person that served in this city hall was Louis Marchetti, who was mayor from 1901 to 1904. Of course, he's distinguished as being a mayor of the city, but he was also quite distinguished as being the author, a historian of this Marathon County with his noted history of Marathon County written in 1913. So Louis Marchetti, again, one of those figures in our early history that certainly marched through our history with different different spots, different functions, uh, certainly uh, landing him in the, uh, certainly in the Hall of Fame of, of mayors and persons in the city of Wausau. And again, this is a little bit of a later shot of that uh, city hall on Washington Street. A little bit there was Wausau Furniture came. This is just uh, this building functioned as a variety of other, uh, other functions um, beyond its being the city hall. Uh, Department of Health, a variety of county and city offices were here until it was finally raised, of course. So then we move on to our next city hall, the city hall in the 300 block of 4th Street, 1912 to 1962. Some of you may start to uh, remember this building at the end of 3rd Street, uh, quite another quite distinguished uh, building uh, and a little bit, we know a little bit more about this building um, that we do about, about the prior building, but in 1913, it was ready for occupancy. The new city hall was coming in. And just let me read a little bit. Uh, for a great many years to be a monument to the enterprise and thrift of the city. So the city was quite proud of this new city hall. Uh, second floor was the uh, uh, city council chambers. Uh, mayor's office, of course, a lot of government functions within this. But one unique thing about this city hall was that in the basement, the police department had their offices. So the police department was now located in the lower level of, the, of this city hall. And the west section of the basement will be occupied the chief of police. It, he has living rooms, a pantry, kitchen, three bedrooms, dining room, and a parlor with outside entrance. So in the early days, around the, with the building of this city hall, uh, the chief of police had its residence in the bottom of, I guess that kept him close to the offices of the police department. Another interesting feature of this city hall. Thousands gathered. It was a big, big day for the city with this city hall a program, uh, October 1913. Um, City officers, Mayor John, here again, we see Mayor John Ringle, and there's some other names that uh, will stick out. Chief of Police, Thomas Malone, a fairly distinguished police, uh, Chief of Police through our history. Uh, Dr. Sauer Herring as Commissioner of Health. Uh, a variety of people that um, continued to mark their presence in our history, um, uh, in our history of the city of Wausau. Again, this, this wonderful building. Uh, and in the later years, this was, uh, this is a little bit more current view before it too was raised uh, at the end of 3rd Street. A, a major feature of this city hall was the mural that was, uh, that was uh, designed, painted by Leroy Jonas Sr. Of, uh, of this scene that's quite a famous scene this is a little bit better picture of that, of that scene. Uh, this mural hung in the city hall, uh, and it was, of course, now graces the cover of Michael Cronowater's history of Marathon County. So again, a, a, again, a tribute to our logging, our logging heritage by Mr. Jonas. Um, the other part of the city hall was the creation of the seal of the city of Wausau 
uh, by one Carl Hummel. Uh, he designed it in 1913. Uh, he was a local painter, designer, so he was charged with designing the, the great seal of the city of Wausau. So it had an initial appearance in 1913 in that city hall. Another history, historical fact about this city hall was that the sign that graced the top of it in the nine, beginning of the 1920s was work for Wassa. So a great sense of civic optimism was going on in the early 1920s and, uh, and, the, and a variety of different groups, including the city and business people and, and all kinds of civic groups decided that we really wanted to come together. And, there, and this sign, this, this lit sign on top of City Hall, worked for Wausau, propelled people to think anew of the city of Wausau. After that, after World War I, uh, we took a new sense of who we were as a city. And I think this is one of the distinguishing marks of, of what that, of what our enthusiasm for Wausau had in the early 1920s. This is just a, I just throw this in as just a little picture of what downtown Wausau was looking like with City Hall down the street, the trolley. Uh, back in the day, this is what Third Street leading up into City Hall looked like. So, but then uh, we have another City Hall, uh, 1862, uh, we have a new city hall. We have, uh, um, with the moving of Wasser Insurance Companies to the west side in their big complex <clears throat> on, on the west side, uh, close to 100, uh, close to 28th Avenue, uh, this, this, their building now became our new city hall. Um, again, another terrific building uh, we'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. But in the early days, the, the city hall had the police department in the basement, uh, school board offices, and a variety of other offices through the years. Of course, it always had its uh, city council chambers as well as its mayor's offices. But it had different functions through the years. We'll talk a little bit about that in a couple minutes. But again, here we are, this, this uh, Art Deco, building designed in the 1940s for, like I said, was insurance, now the home of the city government. Um, and on top, one of the distinguishing features of this was the, the seal of the state of Wisconsin that graces the roof line of, uh, of this building, this Art Deco building that's uh, quite, quite distinguished. Um, the distinguished mayor at, that I want to feature is John Canterberg, who was mayor from 1964 to 1988, uh, a long term. I think he may have been the longest serving mayor in the city of Wausau. And he has a lot of history in, during his terms of mayor. But of course, the largest thing that uh, Mayor Canterberg initiated was the the building of the Wausau Center Mall, those eight blocks um, east, I'm sorry, south of Washington Street, those eight square blocks of Wausau, uh, Wausau's downtown creating the Wausau Center Mall. A distinguished uh, history and Mayor Canterberg as well as, as well as the rest of the city leadership uh, initiated this and created this Wasa Center Mall that was certainly a great, great destination for a lot of people for, for, for many, many years. And, and so now we have uh, Wasa City Hall, Welcome Home, one of our uh, logos in, in the city. Uh, and uh, just a little bit of a tour. I wanted you to become a little bit of a familiar with what our current city hall looks like as you come in. Again, remember this was the entryway for the old Wasa Insurance Companies. Uh, great, great interiors, great, great architecture, great touches throughout the building. And, the, and this, uh, these are some of the offices and, and, and uh, committees, planning department, Wasa Waterworks, all, in ha all having their offices in the city hall. 
in addition to the city county's IT commission up on the third floor. But if you pay your taxes, go to municipal court, want to go up and see the mayor, uh, all of those offices are in the city hall. And of course, the mayor's office, Mayor Katie Rosenberg, up on the second floor. Uh, her office is always uh, quite accommodating, so uh, please pay her a visit. Uh, her office is up on the second floor. Uh, this is a city, uh, a picture of the city council chambers. Uh, um, 11 members of the city council at any given city council meeting, as well as the mayor, city attorney, and, and clerks of the city council present, and of course the, um, the podium for speakers. And again, we see in the council chambers the great seal of the city of Wausau, uh, designed by Carl Hubble uh, back in 1913. Again, another shot. I just want to welcome people, city council, committee members. Uh, the That podium and those chairs are welcome to you. So uh, you're always welcome to come in and observe the workings of the city council. Uh, it's quite Come into the city hall, turn turn left, and there you are. Always welcoming uh, people and the citizens into meetings of the city of Wausau. Again, I close with this picture. The great the great features of uh, of this is the landing between the first and second floor. Uh, great Art Deco features that certainly come came with this. Uh, building when it became the Wausau City Hall back in 1962. So that's a little quick venture through 150 years of, of some buildings that have marked uh, Wausau City government. Uh, and I, um, there's more stories to tell, but I, uh, um, I turn it back to Ben if there's comments or questions with regard to um, the to the to our city halls yeah thank you very much um so yeah we're we're the city halls um i'm, I'm, I'm gonna bet most people most people probably don't realize that uh we've had this many buildings over the years and what they've been used for um and housed apparently police chiefs uh which yeah that's kind of strange um, again, we'll just leave, leave the door open here if anybody has any questions. Um, there's been some discussion um, about some letters. Uh, just going back to the um, August Kickbush bringing in, you know, uh, all, all the Pomeranians back right. in the day. Um, you know, somebody who I, I found out recently that he, he actually was like representing three different steamship lines. He'd he the guy that, you know, figure out what to do with these people when they get over from Germany. So, um, yeah, some some influence and consequently yeah gets elected elected mayor for for good reason there so a lot of different stories a lot of different august kickbush stories you know a lot of different stories but yeah they all have a common theme you know at one time a lot of these folks were were mayor of the city and all present their little stories uh for our history yeah and we could probably do a whole talk on you know any any tenure of the mayor there's there's a lot of stuff that we could maybe maybe we'll do that um Actually, good opportunity. Um, we are going to next month um, in February, going to be doing some public questions, some miscellaneous sort of things that we don't fit into a regular um, a theme for a month. So um, I'm hoping that one of the themes for the, the month next month or next one of the weeks next month will be specifically about the general, you know, questions from the public. Like do you people watching, do you have any questions? Uh, about the history of Wassa or you know wider we don't have to keep it to Wassa which is something that you've always wondered about and never never thought or knew where to ask um, and we'll see what we can do to, to answer as many of them as we can so um, you know feel free to for comment here or get in touch with us and in, in all the ways that you know we do that um, if you have anything that you know is gnawing at you and you always wanted to know what why that thing is the way it is or you know that sort of thing um, yeah Gonna do a refresh here, and again, Gary did mention um, in the course of his talk here uh, many of the um, or you, you see bits and pieces of what we're gonna be talking about next week with the um, let's see here you go history of the logos of Wasa 
Um, so we'll, we'll touch on a bunch of the, if you've been paying, if we're paying attention throughout the pictures he showed, you'll see some of the, um, you know, logos uh, that will be familiar uh, next week. But yeah, we'll go ahead with that. Cool. All right, well, I think we'll maybe call it a day here then. Um, yeah, thanks for, for joining us this for History Chats this afternoon, and I uh, hope you have a wonderful afternoon um, and week, and we'll see you next week um, for more local history here.